Indeed. Now, Julie's wearing hers at the moment. She's got her roses on. And they're again at 14 foot. She's round here, look. She's over here. Yeah. She, she pulls it about a bit. That Julie there, isn't she? Jill. she? <laughs> <laughs> but they look fun. Oh, and That's I, I not love very that. nice, isn't it? Jill? I love that <laughs> set. I, I just think the whole thing looks great. So I really appreciate that. But those wellies look brilliant. Julie, what about the comfort? Comfort, fantastic. They, you would never believe you could get this sort of comfort from Wellington boots in a million years. They're just brilliant. You put them on straight away, wonderfully flexible and really light. Comfortable. Now, do you know if it's a rainy day normally, would you think of getting up in the morning and putting your wellies on? No, you wouldn't. Only you because wouldn't, they're would you? so ugly. Yeah. Yeah, but these you wouldn't. Well, you'd be quite excited about putting your wellies on, wouldn't you? Rain or no rain, <laughs> get excited about your wellies. <laughs> now they're Italian designed, aren't they, Debbie? They are. They're made in Parmigiano, where it's where the cheese is from, which we all know about. Um, and they're made in Italy them because they look flexible. They look soft. They are flexible. They are soft. They're not like a conventional welly no. as we would know it. A British but well is hard and sturdy. It's got all the every single benefit, but plus more. Yeah. Which means it's more like a boot, more like a very soft, flexible boot than a welly. But it's got everything that a welly offers you, but not the discomfort. Because I think wellies so, are so uncomfortable. So conventional wellies, obviously waterproof. That's the main thing, isn't it? They are waterproof. That means that not just going to keep the water out, but if they get muddy, you can bring them home and you can scrub them in a washing up bowl or polter them or hose pipe them down. They're very, very easy to clean. Normal wellies have a cotton lining. You've got a cotton lining in there for comfort. What you wouldn't normally find with your wellies is the is the versatility, the, the pliability of the materials that these are made out of. They really are, they're more lightweight than a welly. They're more lightweight than a boot. They are they're as pliable as wearing a sock. It's, it's, you know, like it's a, a very strange feeling when you put these on because it's not what you expect. No. You expect a welly. Yeah. <laughs> you expect what we conventionally know as a welly, which is something quite stiff, quite hard, quite hard around the toe. It's so sweet and girly. Yeah. Well, which ones have you got? Oh, you've got your bubbles on. Yeah, I've got my little bubbles on. Which ones do you like best? Um, well, you know, I did like the bubbles, but I'm really a bit torn with the little roses as well. I don't know. They both look great. You've got to go for both I now. think so. <laughs> but you can wear them with anything as well. I mean, Julie's wearing hers, obviously, with a, with a denim mini. You can wear them with your jeans or your trousers. If you've got crop trousers, it'd look great, wouldn't they? Yeah, they would. They crop would jeans. With crop jeans. But I'm kind of thinking, if I was going to go out of an evening, if I'm going out for lunch, um, I'd wear these. If, if the weather was bad, and you know, if I'm going out for lunch, I probably wouldn't even change. I mean, I'd you've be very got really quite the smart those. outfit on there. They look really good. Yeah. They look really trendy and really good with what you've got on. They look really nice. And they just look funky. Have you got socks on with yours, Jo? I've got little tiny sports socks on. Have you? And they're absolutely fine. Don't need big woolly ones. You don't, on. well, I'm not wearing any with I haven't mine. got any socks at all. Have you? No, no. So you've got the cotton lining in there. Yeah, as well. no, these are so comfortable in, on your feet, aren't they? They are, really, and because really they're so soft. soft um, I've got no rubbing. No, I haven't. Not no. on my heels or anywhere. But you can see that on there, the, the flexibility as Julie's moving her feet around there. There's no way would you be able to do that in a conventional welly. Oh, absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely no way. No, they, I mean, they are a conventional welly, as in, yes, they're waterproof and skid-proof and all that kind of thing. But a conventional welly... Now, even though they've got the decorations on them, the colours on the stars, whatever, they are stiff, hard wellies. These are not, because the ones we've just mentioned, are ones that are made in um, different parts of the world. They're actually <laughs> they're actually made in Italy, and they've got that design element. They've got that look, <laughs> and, and you can tell they are a designer look. But you can see on the, on the edge of Julie's toe there how they are. Um, you, you've got like extra grip on there as well. Oh, it's fantastic! Yeah, it's, it's though it's like. If you were driving the or jelly moving wellies forward, look. yeah, they are like a jelly welly, aren't they? <laughs> That's what we should call <laughs> them. We should go down a jelly welly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We got a name. A jelly welly. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you can find a better one, but at the moment, the jelly wellies. Okay. Your Sunday best shoes. Leave them at home. Wear your wellies out because you're not going to wear them out. No, you're not, they're not going to be spoilt by the winter, by the weather, by the snow. They're not going to be spoilt by sleet. They're not going to be spoilt by snow on the ground. It doesn't matter if you buy these for your daughter and she goes jumping in puddles or in mud. I'm talking about little daughters, not, not older daughters. Mind well, you, they you might know, be. Body, <laughs> they? And it doesn't matter if, like me, you go out walking the dog every morning in the same kind of area that everybody walks the dog in. All sorts of stuff comes home with me. 
Oh, lovely. Oh, it's, it's, it's disgusting what people leave behind. No, they no. just don't take I the know. carrier bags out. No. Mm. I'm the one with the bag. I'm very good. But let's so, so sluice it down the, under the outside tap or wherever. And they're yeah. clean, aren't they? They're totally good. Oh, we've got that weather again. Oh, and when it's getting a little bit like this, and it's going to be the worst one this winter time, you know. And it's it's not just the fact that you can, <laughs> that you're going to keep your feet dry. You've got the non-slip soles there as well. So you, I mean, if Julie was walking on decking like that, and it had been really raining, and she hadn't got a wellies on, she'd be flat on her back. She'd be, would, wouldn't you? Slip <laughs> over. If you, if you're walking on on wet ground that has damp leaves on there, or you're icy, or it's snowy, or it's sleety, and it gets all. The worst thing is that, like the day after, when all the ice starts to melt. It's horrible. That's slushy. Like slushy. And, and you see, everybody's walking really gingerly on the surface, not, not to sort of go astray. But I tell you what, in normal green wellies, or whatever colour the welly is, but a normal welly, it's like earlier, you, you're totally inflexible with them. Now, Julie's wearing the rose ones. So are you going to get them wet for us? All right, then. jump in that bird back, bath. back in the welly bath. <laughs> I tell you what, if you're into this welly throwing thing, like some people do this combat, much, you could throw it much further. <laughs> because they're a lot lighter, I tell you. You could do a really good go on your welly, couldn't you? Throwing one of those, and you're in that bath uh, again. Yeah, and they are completely waterproof. Are you, I'm are very pleased wet? to say. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, they, they look good. They are waterproof. They are a welly. They are 100% waterproof. The pattern isn't going to wash off. They're not going to fade. They will always look like they do now. You're not going to wear them out. You won't wear the heels down. You won't get creases across the toes and around the ankles. They're going to look this good this year, next year, the year after, and the year after that. Whether you're having a shower outside, or you're walking through puddles, or you're in mud, or snow, or you just want to go out wearing a fashionable pair of boots. If you want a fashionable pair of boots, you couldn't buy them for £14.90. <laughs> no, you couldn't. Not they look as good as this, could you? No you way. You're over there, aren't you? Well, I was just entertaining myself, yes. <laughs> But oh, no, there will a, a welly of a time. There will.